What's up guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we will be looking at how to make an FPS counter on Scratch. It's really simple to make, just two variables, um, the timer variable, and a couple of code. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So first, let's create our two new variables. Let's delete my variable and let's create one called counter. Make sure it's for this sprite only and let's make another one called FPS. Make sure this is for all sprites. So we're going to go into the events and let's drag a green flag. And then first of all, we're going to set counter to zero and then we're going to go to control and drag a forever loop. And we're going to go to variables and change counter by one. And then let's drag in a if statement. And we're going to go to operators and drag it greater than. And then let's scroll up to sensing and drag the timer. And let's put zero. So if timer is greater than zero, then we are going to change. We're going to change FPS. by the counter and we are going to reset timer well, actually this is going to be a set this needs to be a set FPS so let's make that a set variable and we're going to put a wait zero seconds right here and below the set FPS to counter we are going to reset the counter back to zero Alright, so the code should look like this, and let's run the project. So as you can see, the FPS is now 30, which is the normal amount for the FPS to be on Scratch. And since I have Scratch add-ons, I can make FPS to 60, and I press Alt, green flag, and that makes it to 60. So that is an example of how the FPS changes, and if you don't know what this is, it means frames per second. This means how much you lag, so if your computer is laggy, then your FPS must be low. So this means frames per second. So I'm going to give an example of that by making scratch lag. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know how to make scratch lag. But this is how to set the FPS to 1. So make sure you make a block, name it lagger or whatever you want. Make sure to run without screen refresh. And we're going to put this block underneath the define. And then let's drag a green flag, a forever loop. And let's duplicate that and put that in there. So let me put this back to the normal FPS. As you can see, the FPS is now 2, and I can barely move the Scratch Cat, and my computer is starting to heat up. So that is how to make Scratch. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Only a small percent of viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. It's free can change your mind later and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next scratch tutorial peace out